okay. It's been a week since I last played, so I'm struggling to remember what we did. Who do I need to go see? Uh, we've got... Oh, Mike is there. Oh, we got a letter to read. Oh, what a scumbag! Henry Lemieux. Oh, and then we've got this guy up here. Dragic. He's the toy boat guy, isn't he? Right, let's go read this letter first. Tell you what, it's very depressing. The camp now, just everything about the, the the setting that they've put this final camp in, as well, is is telling for the just the feel of everything at the moment. Uh, flower? No, I want to examine letter. There we go. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours oh, now I remember who she is. Penelope Braithwaite. Penelope Braithwaite, okay. I was thinking, who the hell is Penelope? <laughs> but yeah, now I remember. Bo is her... Um, her... her love interest we all gonna die and never see no promised land no heaven on earth no man unleashed no real land no pure land or none of that stuff dutch spouts we all just gonna get shot like any other hoodlum Put probably like any other pest and all that stuff we believed in was just something to make us better at killing folk faster at running away Well, I guess it is what it is, and right now this is it. Ain't never gonna see my son grow up. Ain't never gonna atone for my sins. Ain't never nothing but gonna get shot for him. I hope God can forgive me for what I've done on this earth, because ain't much I'm proud of. A whole lot I hope he's forgotten about. There's John turning into the man that we see him in Red Dead 1. John is a good guy. In the end. Uh, right, where's my fast travel, whatchamacallit? Wait, where do I want to go? Um, I was thinking of going down to Saint Denis, but... Everything is so spread out. I'll go see Dragic since it's night time. What time is it? Uh, okay. So I've been meaning to do that mission for a while. Still annoyed that you can't run in the camp. I'm kind of happy that I am. I've still got this to finish because. From what everyone said about Red Dead Online, it's not worth it, and uh, I get to still play some Red Dead and enjoy it in single play. <laughs> Alright, away we go. No, 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 no. God damn it! Can you. Is this for real? Is this for real? Is this for real? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there are still many things about this game that I still get and still get on my nerves. <laughs> so clunky. Maybe 
Imagine ruined. All right, girl. Stay alert there, Javier. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. All right. Let's do some cinematic camera work. Did Senpai die? Senpai unfortunately died. Don't remind me. Please. Bugsy with the 23 months in a row. $50 for a can of beans. Seems fair. Is that serious? <laughs> yeah, I have heard that the online portion is just as greedy as GTA without even trying to hide it. Like... At least with GTA, they started off with low prices and then gradually increased it to be ridiculous. But it seems like they've underestimated how powerful that is to do and just gone straight in and thought everyone would accept it. <laughs> Rip beds. If anything, I hope that they overdo it with Red Dead Online so that then the next GT Online can be a little bit less egregious. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the map. Ah, didn't take long. Red Dead Online is just shameless. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I'm going to try it out, but I never thought that Red Dead Online was something that was going to hold my attention for very long anyway, so I'm not too bothered. I might get on every now and then, maybe with NOS or something, and I'll, I'll get some other people to jump in and we'll have a bit of fun, but beyond that, it's not something that I'm probably going to focus on. Oh, look at this place. This is quite the lab. Oh, I've still got the controller cam on. Immersion ruined, sorry. There we go. Oh. Hello? Oh, what a scumbag! Dr. Goofy with the nine months in a row. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas cheers. Thank you, Dr. Goofy, for the nine months, man. I almost saw the biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. What? Well, it is the geometry of life. The grand theory of power. It's the grand theory of theories, man. Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. <laughs> you have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the locations for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament goes solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod. And we harness 
uh, handy. Some good characters in this. I think. I feel like um, I, I, I'm I'm close to the point of saying that Red Dead Online. Uh, Red Dead Online. Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 is the best story telling experience that Rockstar have ever made. From a from just a pure story perspective. I haven't finished it yet, so I can't I can't say that yet, but that's uh that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I've played a lot of story driven games and enjoyed many of them. Stories uh I feel like stories have always been my thing in games. Like now that I'm now that I look back, apart from the odd games like Gears of War and Guitar Hero and stuff like that that I play for different reasons. I think the stories have always been the driving force for me with games. That's why I can play those walking simulators that I've played as they're called and just enjoy the hell out of them because it's a story driven experience they're incredible Gears of War even had a solid Wonderful. story that's true <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on what now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth like this. <laughs> Good job, Marco. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. This to look. This looks totally safe. God damn it. <laughs> of course. Alright. So let's try this one first then. And then we'll go back to this one. See? And then this is going to put the other two up. No, that one, and then because that one's up, the other two are going to go up. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, let's start with this one again. How, how can we do this differently? So, but 
if I because I, I don't want to put this one down because then both of these will be down. Oh, that one went down on its own. Oh, okay. Oh well, that did, I was I was expecting for like a logical like a logic puzzle that you have to solve, but. This guy is so far ahead of his time. And robot. Just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, where are we off to now then? This will continue at a later time. I'm, I'm up for more missions with him. He's good. All right, Mike is down there. Henry Lemieux, he's the um, he's the mayor, isn't he? <laughs> Penelope Braithwaite there. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. I think if I get back to the camp, I'm going to fast travel to Rhodes, do the Penelope mission. I might fast travel to Saint Denis, actually, since it's still night. What time is it? Because you can only do the, the Henry Lemieux missions at night, right? From what I can remember. Use a stagecoach, you don't have to go back to camp first. But where would a stagecoach be? Surely the camp is the closest... closest uh, place for me. I know I can use trains and stagecoaches and stuff. Can I get rid uh, get rid of that wanted dinner alive? It didn't seem like it was just a bounty. It just seemed like it was a. Can I, can I actually get rid of that, or is that something separate? Okay, girl. 
Yeah, I think I thought it was story related. It's ever since I broke John out of prison. Who's out there? It's me. Too late. Yes. All right, let's go to Rhodes then. Oh, Braithwaite Manor, that works. Even better. I feel like chapter 6 is going to take me longer than the other chapters. Just because I've got so much stuff that I've left. All these side missions that I haven't done throughout the other chapters, I'm doing them all now. So I feel like... <sighs> I feel like chapter six, I'm, I'm not even sure I'm going to get it done this stream. We've still got another, what, four and a half hours of this stream if I don't play any online today. And I feel like I'm still not going to get it done. But we'll see. I don't know how long it's meant to be, but... Nos and Hamas seemed to think in the pre-show to the podcast last weekend that I'd get it done in the next stream. But I'm not so sure. Oh, it's ruined. Now I remember. Rip the manor. Hey, you're okay, girl. Uh oh. Oh, is this, uh, oh, it's her? It's the old lady. Okay, I've wandered into... Let's just go and start the mission before anything else okay, happens. Girl. I bet I can't. Yep. I didn't even see what I got from the old lady. What did I loot from her? until this leaves us and then we can go and do it we're on the D there we go now I've got a bounty in this area 15 bucks Never been worried about money in this game. Ever since that bank job. Oh, oh you 
came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... Oh, I remember this whole storyline you know now. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you. Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Yeah, I want to get these two lovebirds out of here. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. What? All my days. <laughs> God damn it. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Rail. Are they going to be there all the time? Okay, let's try and get you a train. The bow's just waiting at the station. Yeah. They must have been there investigating up, the, uh, I'll show up to help the murder. Show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. You came! You came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Excuse me. <laughs> Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey. Excuse me, old. Oh, God. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Mo. Go to your woman. Oh, fists of... Oh, now there's only... Let's 
make this quick. I'm a busy man. Get wrecked, scumbags. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave. So what do you expect? Good manners. My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life? Oh my lord. Oh good. Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? <laughs> they found out about the jewels. Alright, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. <laughs> oh, and I haven't got any of my weapons. I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the Damn it. The amount of your cousins is here. Your dad's all great. You got a dad. They were above us on the hill. Oh, man. It's my horse following us. That's my horse. I've just realised. Holy cow! How are you going this fast, horsey? Wait. Why are we stopping? Trains, mister. Oh, train driving mission. <laughs> Success. Now I can be the train. First person. This is the view. What a view. BK Moto with 100 bits. Watch out for the scum in his 9F trying to get up chili at. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, BK Moto.
Can you um, just drive trains in free roam, like randomly? Or is it just scripted to this one mission? Yes, you have to rob them first. Okay. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, um. You carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Yay! We did a good thing. Welcome. How do you do? Liberty is worth every penny. Oh dear. Have you... Uh, I'm not bothered about the photographer mission guy. Who's that? Hey, Miss Sinclair. Ah, oh, the whole fishing thing. You know what? Let's let's just go and do you the come mission. Come down with the flu as well, sir. Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around. That's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Uh. Thanks for your assistance. So theoretically, I could drive the train back to Annersburg. But I mean, it's going to take so long. Why, why are you... Oh, no, I can't. I can't drive it. I can't buy any train ticket. Wait, wait, what? Can't buy any train tickets. So it looks like we're riding it. Is there a stagecoach in Strawberry? Yeah. 
That'd be quicker. Not sure how much of the side mission stuff that I want to do anymore. I don't know how interested I am in the uh, strangers that I've got please, available. Sir, please stop! Oh, I beg you! Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little uh, demeaning. <laughs> what are you doing? out here anyway it clearly ain't your natural habitat I don't know I'm just visiting I, I, I'm from New York City actually you don't say oh yes there was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called strawberry so I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued turns out I was made the fool not enjoying it Dan <laughs> It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Wish he could have just gone on the back of the horse. Oh yes, this does look familiar. Uh, please do the side missions. If online is that bad, we might as well enjoy the single player. <laughs> I guess we could. Oh, are we close to town? Chapter six is going to be longer anyway. I know. I imagine so. Yeah, you welcome. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, what devil got a hold of you? That's for next time. Me thinks. I want to talk to you today about the great miracle. Uh, no, thank you. New York. Jesus. Well, care for a ride. Can I get a ride? Where do you want to go? Oh, it's bad. Please, let's do a main story mission. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but I'll get you there. If only you will follow me and do as I say. You could really do with more holy passion in your life. <laughs> I think I'm good. Hold on now. Here as agreed. Thanks, mister. You help me out. 
Alright, what's Micah got to say for himself? Where is he? This is not the right way to go, clearly. So good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's this is like happen. the voice of reason, and then the other side. Pinkertons, they've got us Arthur back knows in what's here, up. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> that was interesting, the way he said he said stupid, the way that I would say stupid, instead of the American so stupid. what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Yeah, right. Dutch, you deluded, mate. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. Oh, God. I have God. spent considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? 
I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. <laughs> Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense. He's a scumbag. He's an absolute Perhaps scumbag. A plague on your house already, Good time. Good timing. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. I like the way he speaks. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob. And you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Of course. Noise, Arthur. No voice. Of course. He screwed up. Ah. Oh shit! Pinkertons. What the hell have you done, Dutch? God damn it, Dutch is so stupid. Mike is going after those papers. Let's find him and get out of here. What happened to Cornwall? I wanted to loot him. Oh well. There we go. <laughs> Rich men don't leave corpses, duh. <laughs> I fell into the water, seems likely. They're shooting from that building. Almost killed the train driver. Oh, I had to go on. Dutch, can you get out of my way? Oh my god, what happened to the gun there? Immersion ruined. Why can't I take cover on... Dutch, you can't oh, even stay with back. yourself. Is out of it. Totally lost his mind. Finally, putting that bastard Cornwall out of business for good. You put 
relative to this. Me? I just follow orders, Morgan. Yeah, let's right. Go, let's go. Good location for this mission, though. This is pretty fun. Oh, that's one way to do it. We can take the horses from that coach. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. <sighs> Look out! We got more ahead! Can you just... Yeah, I see what people are saying in the uh, in the chat. This this horse does remind me a little bit of Senpai. Rip Senpai. Looks like we've lost them. For now, maybe. And social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Hmm, yes. Crazy is right. One time or another it used to be Arthur who he'd talk to about his plans. Not anymore. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's go down and see what the deal is with Reverend Swanson. Be gone. Be gone. Be Easy, whoa. Be gone. It's 
Let's have with this guy. Just go away, will you? What's wrong with you? I'm not talking to you because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come? How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just leave me alone, will you? This is exhausting. Can I actually interact with this guy? No? He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. Okay. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. Okay, we're 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 walking away from this. Yeah. It ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why that, that that's why I'm out here well away oh. from they Why can't I get on my horse? But I'm watching. I never sleep. I never do. Okay, now he's gone. Come on. Now girl. I can get on my horse. Okay, that was weird. That was that was very very weird. Even the horse wants no part of the crazy man. Okay. Yeah. He he is uh he has some issues I think. I didn't realise we were so close to the camp. <coughs> Reverend You okay, Mr Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in... Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. 
What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Bloody Dutch. We can get Oh, what a scumbag! I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough Thank folks you. coming after us without adding an army to the list. Walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man. <sighs> the horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. I missed chapter two where Dutch just stayed in the camp and let us do our own thing. <laughs> this ends today. You have my word on that. Dutch, you're an idiot. Uh, John Cannon, thank you for the subscription, man. I appreciate it. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back. For the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. Rainbow. I have a plan. double rainbow. You just have to trust me. Yeah, because your plans have been bulletproof so far, Dutch. Thank you, John, again for the subscription. I appreciate it. There's Peter. His men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. <sighs> yeah, Dutch is basically just using the Indians, I agree, at this All point. Right. Let's head out. Native Americans. Where did the term Indians come from? If they're Native Americans. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. Ah, uh, they thought they'd landed in India. Come on. Okay. Pull up alongside. Quietly. 
I step away for five minutes and suddenly Brookie's in a boat in the middle of nowhere. Amazing how things happen, isn't it? Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Of course I don't have my weapons. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh! No, not again. I gotta slip up a good hand all night. I'll be retired in the morning at this rate. Just the deal, lawyer. How on earth are we gonna do this then? I'm in. Raise you. We can go higher than that. God damn it, no. I'm out. Alright. Uh, call. Is someone gonna maybe walk away at some point or not? Oh god. Take him back, what's ours? We can't let that last one get away. Boys, go find out about those horses down below. Partner, deal with that anchor. Oh well. I guess I'm not uh You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just I guess I'm not not there. killing anybody. <laughs> God. Hold on. Good job, Dutch. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boys, get him out of here. This is absolutely well, a metaphor for Dutch. Out of control completely. The confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. These will follow me. There are more up river. Ah. Horse technical aqua. <laughs> aqua, aqua. What are you doing, horse? We're going this way. Oh my god, imagine ruined. Rainbow. <laughs> Night rainbow. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2 immersion has been ruined 51 times. <laughs> oh, I love that the counter's still working. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Well, he... Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. 
I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, yeah, Dutch. All right, girl. Is, uh... He's lost it. He is totally just doing this. He's helping them so that he can uh, he can use them. Charlotte. Ah, oh, the person we helped with the hunting. Rains fall up there. But so much, so much to do, so many options. to go over here but I didn't want to see Micah <laughs> Now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. Everything okay, mister? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they, oh no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he. <coughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, he'll eat him. Um. Uh, <laughs> e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sure oh, this is good. Great. Easy, big guy. Ah, mean. Well, stop trying to hit me then. 
What he needs is a good sleep. Knock him out. Stop! Bad boy! Uh, no fair! Mean man! <laughs> Not oh, nice! Nice tantrum, mister. So strong and so strong. Bad Bertram. He's a boy. Mr. Hart is gonna deal with this. Well, uh, let's be friends, okay? Who's talking now? Huh? <laughs> Hey. Quite the knockout. <laughs> oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So, you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? <laughs> you just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Okay. Interesting. Oops. That was something indeed. So there's Magnifico. Alright, I'm gonna go do this mission because it's been long enough on my list of things to do. <laughs> The dog was trying to get the the beds hey, off the the other the other one. Oh. Hey boy. I'll give him another pat. That's sad. Sandini. I did, I made a friend. There's a good amount of trail left, I'm afraid. Never trust right. someone that says no one will ever love you like I do. It's <laughs> reasonable. Oh, is it mo? 
Oh, by the time I got here, it's been... God damn it. Oh, I just cannot get this mission done. Let's go see Sadie. Phil Hoff with 100 bits, I enjoyed the F620 race early. earlier, did you consider buying your own F620 someday? No, no, no Phil, never, never will I own that car, except momentarily for testing. Thank you for the 100 bits man, I appreciate it. Not even if it's a chrome F620, absolutely not, that would be even worse. That doesn't make things better. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Dutch is everywhere Today's right day, now. Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this, in this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look perfect? Well, don't we <laughs> just look the part? <laughs> oh, I was so close to saying the gallows. exact line. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in I love the detail in this city. How we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here, don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. 
The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Now, Here fun, and now, Como O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. He hasn't unlocked his brush yet. How you doing, bruv? I'm doing good, Jumbo, thanks. Still enjoying this. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So okay. they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building, maybe, and get him and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. We go up here. Oh wow! Look at this place. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Faites un peu attention. Where's this shooter then? So detailed, some of the places in this city. That oh, looks like we're going out this way. Totally get caught. Of course. Your boss is gonna swing, I promise. There's a good girl. There's a good gal. Carcano rifle. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges are... This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. Huh. It is not a task we enjoy. But it <laughs> is a task we must He's carry getting worried out now. if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, 
Have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Of course, city. Of course. You hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls. It was a full bank fight the old Driscolls. Oh, you're still alive. Alright, I'm just about done. I can't get a shot on him. Let's put a shot in him to make sure he's dead. Oh, there. oh, for God's sake. Dead eye. I always forget about Dead Eye. <laughs> well, there you go. Como Driscoll dead. Pretty happy about it. He's a scumbag. The look of terror on his face when he realised was hilarious. How you get on, Arthur? Well... <laughs> We saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Oh, I what a scumbag! Dream, the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like oh, that. Oh, what a scumbag! And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long Glitches ago. Glitches on the hands, imagine ruined. Up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye. 
Mary. Aww. Mary's ring. Aw, them feels. I liked Mary. And they seemed good together. Um... Who's EF? Oh, wait. Who is Reigns for E? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll ask the chat. Should we bother with uh, Charlotte Hamish? I'm already not bothering with this guy. And I want to do the Magnificent guy, but Charles as well. Do we need to really bother with those three? Or not. Um Arthur. Gigi? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yep, it's a mess. So you guys are recommending Charlotte, huh? I thought that things always came too easy to you. But here we are. What are we going to do about all this? About Dutch? Stick with him. The old night. Maybe we can stop things from going too far. Still, things are going to end bad. I surely will. Watch yourself. What time is it? The Hamish mission just seems like it's fishing. The art gallery mission I don't think I'm too bothered about. I'm not I've never been bothered about the photographer stranger mission. I kinda wanna see what happens with the Magnifico thing. And I guess we'll do the Charlotte mission as well. But I've been meaning to do this Henry Lemieux mission for so long. And um, isn't there another mission to the Mark or Toy Boat guy? He said it will continue again. Magnifico is boring, oh really? Are we just doing all the side missions at this point? That's the vibe I'm getting from everybody. Well, I've come to Saint Denis at the t one time where neither of the two side missions that are here are available. Oh my days.
1832. When does... When does the other mission start? Oh my god. I can't catch a break. Get a room and sleep. I suppose there's... Why is this one flashing and that one isn't? Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, <coughs> awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Mm -hmm. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Okay. Would anyone like to make a donation? Never use this m food anyway. Food donated three out of four. <laughs> what were you able oh. to bring me, Mr. Morgan? I have four very hungry mouths to feed. Some, well, not enough for four, I don't reckon. Please try to get some more. These children are desperate for a good meal. And bless you again for trying. Okay, can you let me do it? Delay. These people need food. Can you let me just give her more food? You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat my... You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but... So very frightening, as you wish. <laughs> Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Are there any more missions from her? I heard she was important. I thought I'd already done enough with her. I didn't realize there were more. More of her missions. I thought finding her cross was the, the end of it. Jesus. Did he just get? Uh, did he just get <laughs> covered in? <laughs> yeah, a lot of paste pot over him. <laughs> Rip that guy.
Sorry, buddy. I came the wrong way. Wasn't there a st Was there not a stranger here? Did it just disappear? Okay. And still we got no Henry mission. Maybe it's too late. Maybe I, I've uh, shouldn't have done the last mission. What time is it? Nine minutes. How quick does time go on in this game? <laughs> it's over here, I think. All right, I'm gonna make a make a, a decision that there it is. Chapter six is just gonna be long. It's just gonna be a long chapter, and we're gonna get as much done as we can that we have available to us. Of course. So we're not going to half decide and half not decide to do stranger missions. We're just going to do everything that gets opened up. Yes? Uh, I'm, um... Uh... Uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Oh, what a scumbag! Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. So the mayor's Democracy moved into this guy's house now, I guess. <coughs> Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Um, oh, sorry hello, I missed the... Uh, hello. Uh, subscriptions Cash earlier. Uh, Kiwi91 with the two months in a row. Okay. Red no, Fox 1000 with the subscription. Again, and uh, no. Mild Roll as well sorry, with the uh, subscription. Thank you so much. BK Moto with 100 bits as well. ET Phone Home. Man. Yeah, you could see the through her hands a bit. They were glowing. The sister. You, Mr. Tacitus. <laughs> I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But uh, yeah, there's this was always the mayor's house. Yeah, of course, I thought it was the. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh dear. Terrifying. Ah, oh, Bronte brought you to the party at the mayor's house. Okay, as well as that makes more sense. Sure you can. Now it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum. Oh, what a, a scumbag! To elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. 
Bonne chance. Of course. I'm just going to persuade someone. John Forsyth with the 21 months as well. I still can't find the damned and subscribe button. Also, happy birthday. just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he's a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. Oh, what a scumbag! Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur. There. No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. And Cameron with a Twitch Prime subscription as well. That takes far too much effort to do it more, but <laughs> thank you, Cameron. I appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed in the last what twenty minutes. Thank you, guys. very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> I got to punch you to change your mind. I couldn't! My reputation! You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again! Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent! I relent! There! <laughs> you see, Professor? An academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. <laughs> and that's that. Fine morning. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Here, the mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Success. Been trying to do that mission for so long. It was that one. Morning, sir. Mister. Hi, ma'am. Good morning to you. Watch your step. Clear. I need the path. God damn it, my horse didn't come with me. Ah, oh, tell you what, let's go do this. Since we're right here. Come on. 
Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. I think that it's Greek. Look at these idiots. <coughs> I don't remember this guy. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. <laughs> Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. <laughs> Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. You have been a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> What, um, where did we first meet Charles? I don't, I, I can't remember. Yeah, it was worth doing this one. This was funny. Nothing. Getting shot after stealing some bloke's wife. Ah, oh, yes, now I remember. Come on. Yeah. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that may have been high society, but there was no way I could. Uh, I couldn't loot anybody. Look at my hat. I didn't even realize I picked up the wrong hat. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Oh, people push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? <laughs> you keep provoking emotions like that, and all your cameras <clears throat> are punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. He's not now wrong. Maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. <laughs> the head boy I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. A wonderful tribute to the head boy emote. My angel, yes. my little bird, it's me. <laughs> Hello there. Right, where the hell is my horse? Hey. Okay, it looks like we're running. Oops. Sorry. Oh dear. Apologies. Oiga. Run, 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 run. Yeah. 
I haven't really seemed like I've been affected all too much with the, the whole TB. Like it seemed to affect me at the start of the chapter and not Hello. now. How are you today? Excuse me, sir. <gasps> Can I bother? I thought I heard someone get knocked off. Rip. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of twenty dollars would put us well on our way. Yeah. Okay. I got plenty of money to spare. No chicken fever. Sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be a can lose the lockbox. On a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Oh, well, that's nice. I wonder if this will be completed before the end. Come on, Harsey. Hello. There's your majesty. Ain't forgotten you. Yeah. Senpai died and this one was voted to be called your majesty. I think G. Freddy was second. I'm actually I am I'm surprised that G Freddy didn't get uh, voted. I think it was like three or four votes from winning, but Your Majesty won instead. It shocked me. I thought I saw... A stranger thing happened, but I guess I went too far away. Oh wait, there. Oh, is this her? Okay. shut up once I can vote! Morning. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. <laughs> I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Well, she was pleasant. Out of the damn way. side of the road it's interesting how the the gps markers take you on the wrong side of the road on that section
Stagecoach to... And oh, this bag. 